where the world ceases to be the scene of our personal hopes and wishes, where we face it as free beings admiring, asking, observing, there we enter the realm of art and science. Although I am a typical loner in daily life, my consciousness of belonging to the invisible community of those who strive for truth, beauty, and justice has preserved me from feeling isolated. A table, a chair, a bowl of fruit, and a violin, what else does a man need to be happy? I believe in standardizing automobiles. I do not believe in standardizing human beings. I am by heritage a Jew, by citizenship a Swiss, and by makeup a human being, and only a human being, without any special attachment to any state or national entity whatsoever. Great spirits have always encountered violent opposition from mediocre minds. My passion for social justice has often brought me into conflict with people, as has my aversion to any obligation and dependence I did not regard as absolutely necessary. It occurred to me by intuition, and music was the driving force behind that intuition. My discovery was the result of musical perception. I would teach peace rather than war. I would inculcate love rather than hate. If I were not a physicist, I would probably be a musician. I often think in music. I live my daydreams in music. I see my life in terms of music. I cannot tell if I would have done any creative work of importance in music, but I do know that I get most joy in life out of my violin. My passion for social justice has often brought me into conflict with people, as has my aversion to any obligation and dependence I did not regard as absolutely necessary. One thing I have learned in a long life, that all our science, measured against reality, is primitive and childlike, and yet it is the most precious thing we have. If you want your children to be intelligent, read them fairy tales. If you want them to be more intelligent, read them more fairy tales. Whoever is careless with the truth in small matters cannot be trusted with important matters. <laughs>